Hi guys, good morning. Ugh. Unfortunately, um, I feel like starting to feel like it's been raining almost forever, and I'm so tired of it. Like I'm really, really, really so tired of all of this rain. I'm generally a person that um, prefers like cold weather over, over hot weather like any day but you yeah, it's been raining okay so i just lost electricity i genuinely can't believe we just ran out of electricity what a joke like sa is a joke right now and apparently we're in like stage eight or something so we probably won't have electricity till I don't know, probably like 10 p.m. I'm just gonna moisturize my face with some radiance renewal capsules and my lips. And my neck. Every time I put them on. I'm just like, shoo. And that was my last one. I think I need to buy more of these today. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm, I'm about to leave the house right now. So much is going on. Low shedding is really, really such an inconvenience, but anyway, um hopefully where i'm going they've got generators kicked in or they don't have load shedding because i'm gonna be really hacked if i have to drive in this rain and then get there and then there's load shedding so i'm off to grace skin and wellness um it's like a it's like a salon basically i'm gonna go there because i heard that they offer vajayshals if you don't know vajayshal is a a facial for your vagina and um, the reason why people do them is because I know a lot of people um, have scarring from ingrowns and just want to improve the general appearance of their VJJ and just take care of it <laughs> I'm one of those people so um, I'm gonna go there for the very first time today I'm gonna take you guys along and through the whole process with me I'm not sure apparently I may need to get a Hollywood wax which I'm hacked for because I don't really like changing, switching up therapists. But um, hopefully they know what they're doing and I'm really excited guys, I'm really excited. Actually a friend recommended it to me and she was like, she's only been for two sessions and obviously it depends like from person to person but she's been for two sessions and she said that her therapist, I quote, how awesome you know no woman said. So I was just like, I am sold, I am sold. Like that person doesn't sound like, that. Like, I was just like, I'm, I'm sold and I definitely need to get this done for myself. So um, yeah, I will give you more details as, um, you know, as the day progresses, but I'm super excited. Not gonna do anything more than that today. Hopefully I can see my boyfriend, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure like what he's busy with because I know he's like quite busy. <laughs> I really miss him. Mm. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Literally, we'll just see how it goes. So yeah. I just want to know what was the reason. Oh no, man. We're so late. Come on. So boring, man.
Pretty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very Instagram. Oh my god, I like that. I'm going to just take some shots. Yeah. climb card because basically it goes through everything so it's not just about what today like when as you come we'll have everything written mm -hmm. so there's the client card and then this is like a consent form that you consent to have xyz treatments and um here is we want to take photos we will not take of the jackal but sometimes we might want to take of your face so before and after if you agree with that you can consent this is for PRPs, which is a platelet-rich plasma treatment. It's more in a medical um, mm -hmm. area. We might consider doing that for you later, once you've started a few peels and microneedling. And that is it, really. And then we go th at the back here, and we fill in everything that you have each time. So far. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if you want to sit here at this little table, I am going to go and get a bottle of water. I'm going to go wash my hands, and then I will come through and do all the assessments. Thank you. Good. So I just want to tell you guys a little bit more about what I'm going to be doing today. So today I'm, I've come here specifically for a vajayshaw. I may need to get a Hollywood on my vajayjay because um, they obviously have to remove all the hair before they go in and like giving you a facial. Um, my hair has been growing like relatively slow because I've, I've, you know, I wax so often now and so it grows literally i need a new wax probably after f five or six weeks you know because you know they can't really wax you if you don't have enough hair so um it's been three three or four weeks since i had my last wax so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna need one but lisa will let me know if i do i'm just filling out i'm just filling out my client card um as lisa has explained i think this is really really cool because um, it's nice that should anything go wrong, you know, you've read the T's and C's, you know what you're getting yourself into. I know it doesn't sound that serious because, I mean, you know, I, I can literally just pop into a sorbet and get waxed, but I really, lo I really love how they go about doing it. So yeah, I'm just going to fill out this card and yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Do. Vagina facial really will help to help lift those ingrowns. Um, we use a 
very, very superficial need length, so we don't go too deep, we don't cause blood or anything like that. We cause little channels in that skin, which creates openings um, for collagen production. And because we're piercing the skin, it allows those ingrowns to um, flatten and then come out. Sometimes they look more like pimples and not really like hair. I don't know if you've ever had that, mm -hmm. where it actually feels like there's no hair in there, but it's a swollen um, and inflamed follicle, mm -hmm. and this will bring them completely down and stop that inflammation. Is it going to be painful? No, not okay. at all. You'll feel the peel very slightly. Um, it's called a beta plus. It's salicylic acid. Literally, that beta plus will go into the follicle and clear out the follicle from the inside. Basically, clear out any um, infection, help that um, that. Uh, hair to lift out that follicle so it doesn't get stuck there, um, remove that capping formation of that dead skin cells that's blocking that pore so the hair comes out, and obviously micro exfoliation which will help for scarring. And how many sessions do I need to have? We generally find that in three or four sessions there's a huge improvement. Um, with ingrowns the problem is not, um, not us doing a vajay shawl, it's the client's skin. Mm -hmm. What happens is, as they've uh, been waxing or shaving, etc., that hair gets very weak and it can't push through. And sometimes it's maybe technique from the waxer, maybe they pull the hair against the wrong growth, uh, or it's chafing from pants, uh, panties, etc., that mm -hmm. cause that ingrown. So this will stop um, wood because it'll lift uh, the ingrowns. Yeah. And soften, um, soften that capping formation of that hair because basically it's like a tiled roof where you get dead skin cells on top of dead skin cells mm -hmm. that cause a blockage in the follicle. And then that hair just can't come through. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see the results. Good. So I put gloves on, I work with gloves with this procedure just mm -hmm. because it's an intimate area. I'm gonna obviously show. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Lamel products that I use now. Mm -hmm. So it's called a tripeptide cleanser. It's got a little bit of alpha hydroxy acids in. I'm just going to move you very slightly. Okay. So I work down here as well because we find that there's sometimes a, um, a difference in color here. So what we will be working on in the next year, like I said, is the vagina lightening mm -hmm. and the anal lightening or bleaching with home care. So I'm just cleansing okay. with my um, peel cleanser. Okay. If I was doing a peel on the face, it would be the same procedure or same product that I'm using. Really? Yep. <laughs> Which is exactly why we call it a vagina facial. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can never get used to someone else touching that JJ. It's just so weird. Yes, but I'm very I'm very, um, you are, yes. you are. But it always does. I think it's just like you thinking about it too much in your head. Yes, we, we do a lot of uh, things in our head space. <laughs> so now I'm going to use a skin prep solution. Okay. It's just to take off any excess oils. And then I'm going to put a very mild exfoliant on for a few moments. Okay. Which is called Cathepsine. And that just preps the skin ready for the peel. It's going to be a bit cold. Okay. You can smell it, it smells like medicine. Yeah, I was about to say it smells like alcohol a little bit. Now we've cleansed already and there's still some oils on the skin. Mm. You can have a little bit of cathepsine now, which is a mild exfoliant. Okay. Which isn't the strong one. It is enzymes from pawpaw and pineapple. So it's your enzymatic exfoliant like you use the sugar scrub. This okay. one has using enzymes. So you get mechanical, which is your sugar scrub, and microderm abrasions, and then you get your enzymes. I would sort of describe them as like little Pac-Man that eat the, the dead skin cells or not eat, digest the dead skin cells. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah.
you live either on the fifth, but I do more in the Oh, okay, I can feel something now. Yes. It's a little ant, okay. I'm going a little bit further away than your actual bikini. Okay. Because you've got a little bit of pigmentation further on me. Oh, I can feel that now. Okay, I'm not going to leave it on for longer than about another minute, okay? Okay. So what did you just put on now? That's your peel. Okay. So now I'm going to use a triactive solution and then a neutralizing wash. The triactive, you'll feel it. So I'm using a liquid. It just almost activates the peel for a second. Okay. Does it not burn? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> This is the first stage of my neutralizing. Okay. Can you feel anything? Yep. See what I mean by that? Yeah. For a second. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the neutralizing wash and I'll use that a few times to make sure that there is absolutely nothing. You'll see the texture will be one of the first things you'll notice after this treatment. Does it go smoother? It looks smoother is the best oh, okay. way. It looks not it looks even. Oh, okay. Is the best way to describe, describe it. it. That it's looks emotional. scary. It is very mild needling. I'm going to do you on um 0 0.25, 0 0.5. So it's micro. I can show you how see, we don't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's minuscule. Okay. I just want to create those channels. Mm. You will not feel it, okay? Okay. If you say so. No, no, I've had this and I know, and I've done it many, 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 many times, and I know you will not feel it. You guys need to look into my eyes and see if I can feel it or not. <laughs> <You're> funny. <laughs> And it's so icky. And what's that she just applied? It's just a dark spot corrector. Okay. There's a lot of products to be applied. So now that you're gonna create those channels, am I gonna experience more ingrowns? No, not at all. No. It's, okay. Um, the ingrowns is your actual hair getting weaker. Oh, okay. Or, like I say, sometimes technique with waxing. Um, or chafing, very often, mm. from your clothes, etc. So this won't create ingrowns at all. In fact, it will help them to come out. Okay. Oh, that's what you mean by come out. Okay. Because yeah. when I think about come out, I just think about, like, oh, breakouts. No, 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 no. Yeah. not. Gosh, no. I can't feel anything. I know. <laughs> I genuinely can't. For wax, I'm about three or four weeks ago, and I haven't like gotten a single ingrown. But I also scrub like very regularly. Good. Now I think the scrubbing is very important. Yeah. Um, 
Unfortunately, your therapist technique can definitely make a difference too. So should I continue with the scrubbing Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. We always tell our old school waxing, we tell our, our um, clients to, to exfoliate. Okay. I don't know if the therapists still do that, but it's important. Leaving this on for a moment, then I'm going to go and get a red light. Okay. So I'm just going to put a nice towel over you so you don't feel exposed. So good. <laughs> it feels like a baby's bottom. It's so smooth, and it actually looks so much better. Imagine like on our third session. Oh my so gosh. a lot of what we do is it's six fifty for one. Yeah. But most of our clients do nine fifty for two. So oh, they pay okay. Double. And then obviously. And then they do time. another double. Yeah. And then and then I don't see them again for months, and then they probably come, come back. again for yeah. another double. Oh my god. That gosh. probably makes more sense. So they double double and then it's a long while because we don't need to. And then if it starts up again, we start with another double. It's so even toned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and people, we haven't even started with the lightning. So oh when we really my do gosh. that. It's literally going to look like the rest of my body. Yes. Well, it does now, even. A little bit more, still further down. But yeah. It's, it's much more even toned. It is. I wish we took it before photo. Oh. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. You've been so great. Thank you, guys. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> so, Everything's pink. Um, I'm just gonna sit there. Thank you. It's yeah. gonna brew a little bit. Okay. So I just finished off with my first facial. We'll be adding all of the details in the description box everything that you need to know how much it is where it is where you can get it done how many you know just all of the details that i think is necessary for you to know um it was actually i didn't feel a single thing it was a bit like it boasting just a teeny weeny bit but um especially when the peel when she, um the, your therapist puts on the peel but it's nothing that's like oh my god i'm so, I'm so much pain like, I feel very fine and I feel very comfortable right now. It really improved. There's a visible difference in the appearance of my VJJ or the skin in that area. And I honestly, I genuinely can't wait till my next one. And oh my God, I'm just so excited to, cause honestly, like when you're a female and you're black and you know, you've had all of this, Ingrowth, all of, you've had all of these ingrowths and you have all of the scarring and you I, I never knew that there was just like there was something I could do for it really I was just using like serums that I was like if I use some brightening serum on my face I'll just like put some on my JJ you know but it just never works so it's just so nice to know that there is actually something that can be done for that and I'm excited. I don't want to be insecure about it because at the end of the day, it's it's just scarring and it's just ingrowns and you know it it shouldn't be something that we are insecure about, but we are because it doesn't look nice. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna have some tea now and I'll catch you later. I genuinely thought my skin looked good, and then I got a facial. I, this turned out to be a full day of pampering. So I came here for um, a vajayshal. And then the lady's like, oh, are you okay? And then she offered me a facial. So I love her for that. I love being an influencer. Like, if, if honestly, this if, if this is what being an influencer means. And I'm here for it. There is still load shedding, so I'm just gonna drive through, get some nandos. Oh shucks, some chicken again. Oh, nindi bawel. So I'm actually on my way home, but apparently there's um, traffic. I mean, there's load shedding. Got a facial done. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. If you can, let me know. Oh, shit, I'm actually in a drive through, so I can't vlog. First time I got individual lashes. Don't ask why, but I just could, so I did. 
and yeah i don't know how i feel about them yet i just feel like they need to sort of settle in um gain some personality a little bit but um yeah i'm i can see the difference on my skin and i am like beaming you know when like you've got good skin and your skin looks great already and then it just gets better and it's just so crazy what i did was um something from appeal but it's for pigmentation and just like an even skin tone and texture and um that's the peel i'm gonna be doing for at least three sessions just to try see if we can get like some results on my nose area and my just my t-zone area in general because that's where i have the problem the most and i have pigmentation around my nose and my chair my my, my my neck area so that's what we're trying to fix really those are my primary skin concerns so um yeah it actually ended up being a full day of grooming for me which i'm not complaining tbh like i love grooming but um i'm a little tired and just feel like i need to rest maybe take a nap you know that type of vibe but for now i'm just gonna get some food eat and maybe edit this vlog this is probably the last time you guys are seeing me today don't worry about it you'll see me tomorrow but um yeah if it is just i hope everyone has a good week and i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and you've enjoyed or learned something from this one and i'll see you in my next video